gastroesophageal reflux disease, peptic ulcer disease, stress-related mucosal injury. I get heartburn just thinking about it. The pain associated with all these conditions occurs when that gastric acid and pepsin start to erode mucosa that's normally protected by a shiny barrier of cytoprotective mucus. Well, the following drugs protect against this pain by decreasing acid production. Think back to that helicobacter helicopter sketch, and remember that H. pylori thrives in that acidic environment and can promote ulcer formation. And reminisce for a bit about the fun times at the NSAID baseball diamond where excessive COX inhibition leads to some adverse gastric erosion. Yeah, blocking acid can be pretty handy. So, just relax and enjoy a refreshing glass of citric acid as a few young enterprising kids at the local lemonade stand demonstrate the difficulty of managing a startup in the acid production business. This scene of gastric acid secretion centers around the parietal cells of the gastric mucosa. These cells are located in the fundus and body of the stomach, where they secrete acid directly into the lumen. So before we hit up this charming lemonade stand for some refreshing citric acid secretions, I want you to notice the catchy name of this little establishment. In today's fast-paced prepubescent world of citrus stand startups, I mean, you can't just sell lemonade anymore. You gotta have a brand. Pour it all lemonade. I mean, ingenious. I, I want to meet their marketing guy. Acid is secreted across the apical membrane of the parietal cell via the hydrogen potassium ATPase proton pump. Similarly, on the apical side of this lemonade stand, there is a puree pump, and it looks like Braden's mom here thinks they can spice up the menu to stay competitive in the local lemonade scene. She places a potassium-enriched banana into the puree pump while acidic lemons fall into the sidewalk below. Think of the sidewalk as the acidic lumen of the stomach. This exchange of a banana for a lemon should remind you of the exchange of one potassium ion into the cell for one hydrogen ion out into the lumen. Also notice the 3P batteries powering the juicer, our recurring sketchy symbol for a process driven by ATP. 